Hello, I'm Marco Rubio, and I'm proud to represent the great state of Florida here in the United States Senate. I want to start by my remarks by thanking the Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership for hosting this event. Every year, the Southwest Florida Climate Summit is a unique opportunity for policymakers, professionals, and, and everyday Floridians uh, to come together and talk about improving our climate resilience. This is an issue that's near and dear to my heart. As a lifelong Floridian and as a member of the Bipartisan Climate Solutions Caucus, I know how much our communities and Florida are affected by climate variability. The case in point is Hurricane Ian, which devastated Southwest Florida back in September of 2022. While few areas within Ian's impact zone escaped damage, we know for a fact that areas with healthy ecosystems and robust nature-based features fared better than other areas. One thing we're doing to capitalize on those features is restoring the Everglades. Last year, with federal support, we finished rehabilitating the Herbert Hoover Dyke and broke ground on the Everglades Agricultural Area Reservoir. Both achievements are reducing harmful discharges from Lake Okeechobee, and the estuaries are already responding with healthy seagrass growth. These grasses will ultimately produce more sand and sediment to bolster our shoreline defenses. Last year, we also began a comprehensive assessment to address harmful algal blooms in southern Florida. And we began implementing the Restoring Resilient Reefs Act, a bill I spearheaded in 2022. The reefs offer many natural protections against storms and other disasters. It's my hope that federally funded research on the forces harming them will help us preserve and enhance those protections. There's more to be done, of course. This year's Farm Bill and Water Resources Development Act are key opportunities to reform programs for conservation, public and private land stewardship, and coastal storm risk management. I'm going to be working hard to prioritize Florida's climate resilience as the Senate considers both pieces of legislation. Through it all, I remain grateful to people like you for doing good work at the state and local levels. It's vital because Congress can only do so much on its own. Many challenges surely lie ahead, but if we keep working together, I'm confident that we can make our community stronger and healthier for years to come. Thank you, and my best wishes for the rest of the summit.